Today, we're gonna to talk about a mortgage rate projection for the rest of 2024. Now, you may be asking yourself, hey, I think I already have a good sense of where mortgage rates are. Well, a lot has changed in the first 45 days of 2024, and we're gonna talk in more detail of what you need to know about these changes so far in 2024. So first and foremost, we need to understand where we stand today. According to Freddie Mac, you can check out the link below to the average 30-year fixed survey. Freddie Mac puts out a great survey every single week, comes out typically Thursday around uh, noon central time, um, and you can see an average 30-year fixed from basically a survey or polling of mortgage lenders of them delivering loans to Freddie Mac each and every week. So it's lagging a week behind, but it is a really good representation of where rates are at. That link is down in the description below. While you're down there though, I'd be forever grateful for the subscribe. Click that thumbs up, click that like button, and click that bell icon to be notified. Putting out weekly videos here on the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan Skaggs. I'm a mortgage originator. This channel is called The Mortgage Minute, and we are dedicated to everything mortgage, real estate, and interest rates. So as mentioned, we're looking at a projection of where we're going the rest of the year. So if we better understand that we're in the high sixes right now in 2024, mid-February, where does the rest of the year look? So I'm going to point to a couple things. We've seen some data points, and I won't get too granular into... Uh, financial terms necessarily, but we've had a few surveys or data points uh, that have come in a little higher than what was expected. And what that means is higher inflation, higher prices, higher things like that. That is not great for mortgage rates. So when we hear inflation is up, that typically is going to correlate to a higher mortgage rate as well. So the Fed, basically the uh, controlling body of uh, the economy. What I mean by controlling is they are making decisions to try to control, even though it's a uh, out of control train wreck here that they're trying to rein back in. I'd love your comments below. Um, if you're familiar, do you think they're um, you know steering the ship correctly? I'd love to hear your comments below. But with that said, they have told us in 2024 they're going to likely lower interest rates. So one thing I need you to keep in mind is that they've already told us that. This isn't a surprise, right? This is already baked into the overall interest rate market. We all have heard them say this. We know this is happening. So where rates are at today is the assumption that they're getting lower in the future. So when they actually do what they say they're gonna do, we'll likely see a little bit more of a kick, but it's not gonna be a lot because we already have this assumption. Now, when data points come out that tell us that hey, we're a little further away from that than what they previously told us. We've got some more hot numbers or a little bit higher numbers. Then basically, those projections are getting pushed out a little bit. And here is your actual projection. So Freddie Mac doesn't give any specifics, but says that we're going to stay in the 6% range ending 2024 on the lower end. So they're giving us, and this is as of early February of 2024, depending on when you're watching this, they're saying rates will end up in the 6% range you know, throughout the year, but we're gonna end on the lower end. We've already seen that a little bit in January, but then again, a couple data points came out and we started to raise back up. Do you think that's gonna come true? Put your comments below. I'd love to start a conversation with you on where you think they might be. Now. Fannie Mae has a little more optimistic, if you've heard these terms, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, they're the two uh, government-sponsored entities that are basically buying mortgages. They're, they're taxpayer dollars. They're backed by the government. They're buying those mortgage-backed securities so lenders can go out and continue to lend and not be constrained by liquidity, basically. So Fannie Mae says, we're gonna likely get to the high fives or 5.875. So. Uh, it should be interesting. My personal opinion is yes, I absolutely now see that rates are going to be down lower later in the year. I was pretty optimistic that we would see something in spring to summer. Um, I am far less optimistic now with some of the uh, reports that have come out already this year that we're going to probably see that into summer. But I still am optimistic that I believe we're going to have a summer or into fall with very short inventory, a lot of buyers out there, rates starting to come down, refis getting kicked in, and lenders 
are going to keep trying to pick up that market share and grow and they're going to reduce their margin so they're making less money on the end to lower their rate and again when it's like gas stations if all of a sudden there's three gas stations on the corner one lowers it the other ones kind of feel like they have to too or it's hard to compete right they're much more of a commodity um, you know a lot of times when rates go down lenders are treated like that as well I can make a separate video on the drastic differences in lenders and the you know value that a potential good lender could add versus a bad lender um, or even a consequence of losing home if you uh, choose a bad lender but for another time and place again this is your 2024 in interest rate projection for the rest of the year so in summary we're going to likely see rates lower from here i absolutely do believe that where they end up, time will tell. I believe, you know, be perfectly honest, I believe that we'll probably see something in the high fives, low sixes um, by fall. Again, time will tell. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think. So if you made it this far in the video, make sure and hit that subscribe. I'd be forever grateful. Have a great day. Stay safe. And we'll see each other again very, very soon.